Tom Bennett joining us live, getting a taste of the Sutter Street Taqueria. Hey, buddy, where's your burrito? First thing I walk in, they say, are you hungry? I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Burrito's back there, Melissa. We're going to learn how to roll it in a minute. Let me just tell you something about this. What's so special is I grew up in the Bay Area, and my dad used to work in the Mission District, and anybody that's been to the Mission District knows that the taquerias are one of a kind. Their meats, the way they cook them, prepare them, and, of course, the rice. Okay, so Rosario here, open this up. This is her son, husband, and they have the entire staff back in here. What I thought was so awesome is your family history, first off, to show off your taqueria. What is in the corner that you're looking at? Right here, we're looking at a church of San Miguel in Tarimoro, Guanajuato, which is where my parents grew up. Um, so that's where my Mexican heritage comes from. And then you move to the Bay Area, so you I see the skyline, yeah. you see the Bay Bridge. Now, what is so significant about this home right here? This here is the home that I grew up in. Phenomenal. Yeah. Love it. Absolutely yeah. love it. So you work it down. Best part about this, Candlestick Park, a lot of family memories there. And then, of course, it moves it into the Folsom area. This is where they've been for several years now, and this dream became a reality. They opened up this taqueria. Steve, let's cruise into the back here. So what do you guys pride yourselves on? What is the number one thing that people come in here and that you've been open six weeks that you've been pushing in here? So I always judge taquerias by how they make their carnitas. That's it. Carnitas are, it's one of the things that makes it so unique. And it, we we'll want to show you here how. Yeah, yeah, I want to see what is so significant. The rice, so the I rice. tasted the rice a couple yes. of minutes ago. Yes. It is so different from a Mexican restaurant or something you would do at home. It's Why? A secret. Share the secret. We can't tell you. Why? If Come I on. tell you, then. You're going to kill me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Okay, so you have that, and then you have your beans. Yep, yep, of course, her. the beans are unlike any other, and of course, your meat. Yep. What, is, what do you do to the meat? Do you season the meat? Do you, do you marinate the meat? Do you boil the meat? We actually cook the meat in uh, it's uh, deep boil, uh, fried. Deep fried. fried. See, that's what the, the difference is between like a, 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 a chain or something that you would do at home. Okay, so you see the burrito over here. The best thing about this, and I learned, is you eat them in foil because then you can. Can unwrap them as you go and the burrito doesn't blow out the bottom. Now a lot of people have a problem trying to roll the burrito. There's a correct way and a not a correct way because your burrito you eat it, it just blows out the bottom. So you're gonna show me the best way to roll a burrito. So I'm gonna put the mic over here. Steve's gonna hang tight. I'm gonna put it so you can see me. Okay so how do you go ahead and do this? Is it two hands, one hand? Two hands. Two, two hands. Let me move this over here. Okay, so go ahead. Please help him. It always spills out the bottom. Okay, it drives me crazy. Let me put it. Oh, you want to do a little salsa in there? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Melissa. I know you worked at a Mexican restaurant. You always do it right. I do it wrong. You're always trying to encourage me. Let me do it. I might leave me alone. I just and viewers, eat it. don't worry. Okay, That's so his burrito. Two He's hands. Not serving it up. Two hands. Hold it up. Okay, you gotta take it and then bring it back a little bit, Sean. So bring you, it back. You, you just there we go. go. You just got the wrap, literally. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Sean, I'm impressed. Nice job. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You got to come here. It's in the historic town of Folsom. It is unbelievable and it smells delicious when you walk in. I I'm impressed. So make sure you no, just rip buddy, off, you. rip off the top part of the foil. Yeah. So you got it ready to rock and roll. All right.